let's work one more payback problem with a with a new project. So here we have a different project. It has an initial cost of thirty-five thousand. Then it has four positive cash flows: thirteen thousand, fourteen, and then sixteen thousand in year three and sixteen thousand in year four. We want to know what the payback period is, and we want to know do we accept it. And again, we have a payback rule. We have a payback. A cutoff of two years. So we won't take any project that takes longer than two years to recover its initial cost. So we start off the same way we did before. We make our horizontal or vertical timeline. We start off with the initial cost, the initial cash flow, 35,000. And then we add each year's cash flow one by one. So we add the first year's cash flow, 13,000. That's not going to cover our initial cost, but it will get us some of the way there. We will still have 22000 to recover. So we add our second year's cash flow, which is $14,000. And that's not going to do it either. We're still going to have $8,000 left to recover. So we add our third year's cash flow, which is 16000 and that's going to do it. Some point during year three, we will have covered our initial cost. We will have equaled our positive cash flows and our negative cost. So it says it takes, that means we take two full years. And again, some part of year three to pay back this project. How do we find out how long it took during year three? We divide the amount that we still have to pay back by the positive cash flow that we earned during the third year. So 8,000 divided by 16,000 is 0.5. So it took total payback of 2.5 years or two years and six months. But our payback rule says we reject any project that takes longer than two years. So we reject this project because 2.5 is greater than 2.